Welcome back and welcome back to Hyrus Academy. On today's subtopic, we'll be looking on total and average revenue. On total and average revenue, we have what we, what we call TR. TR is total revenue. It means total, total revenue. The T stands for total and the R stands for revenue. That is the sub, that's why they, they, sub, they put it like TR. We also have what we call uh, P. P means price. It means the price. And we have Q. Q means the quantity. The quantity. So TR, which is the total revenue, total revenue equals to this price multiplied by the quantity. The price multiplied by the quantity. The P is for the price and then the Q is here which is for the quantity. As that. So we have T and equals to price times quantity. To find price, price is equal to TR divided by Q. We divide everything by Q and it will come here so Q will cancel here. That's why we have TR total revenue equal to um, is divided by the quantity. To find the quantity is the total revenue divided by the price. If you don't know the quantity, you say the quantity is equal to total revenue divided by what? Divided by the price. So this is um, the sub um, format for all of them. The total revenue is here, P R um, P equals Q, which is price times quantity. And then you have P, which is the price, is total revenue divided by the quantity. You have quantity, is total revenue divided by price. That is um, how you do it to have it. And also, you have something which is AR. AR, it means average revenue. This means average revenue. Average revenue. We have what we call average revenue. Now, the, the formula for average revenue is also very simple. Whenever you have average of anything, is that thing divided by the quantity? Even if you have average of something, is that something divided by the quantity? So it will be average revenue will be equal to what? The revenue, but which revenue? The total revenue divided by what? The quantity. So you can see for that, uh, the average revenue and the, and the price, they all have the same formula. So that's why in some case, in some places they will like price is the same as average revenue because they all have the same format. The same format of finding them, they are all the same. So that's why in most cases they are like price is the same as average revenue. So uh, if you look at example into it um, in, a, in a question where you you supposed to find uh, the average or the total revenue in a question. In a question, it will it, 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 it be like if you have, I will be giving you a sub example of understanding about when you, know, you talk about total revenue in terms of price and quantity. So that example, are the only thing that we give is price equals 72 minus 32. Use this, find TR and sketch a graph. It will be difficult when you see it like this, that somebody said use this uh, to find TR, the total revenue, and, and, and sketch a graph. How can you do that? You are told to find TR and you also sketch what a graph. You are giving these two tasks. To find the total revenue and also to scale the graph, how can we do that? We will say total revenue, which is TR, equals what? From the formula, we are told that it is equal to price times quantity. So we say price times quantity. Do you know your price? That's the question. Yes, I know my price. But do I know my quantity? No. So you said equal to, what is your price? Your price in bracket because it's an equation. It's the constant and variable. Uh, whenever you have a constant and variable, you put them in a bracket. So it's 72 minus 3Q. Multiply. Multiply by what? Q. Q is outside, meaning it's affecting both anything only that's in the question. But if you don't put it in the bracket, it, it means that it only affects the three Q, which is not the case because the Q affects both the price. So you said 72 multiplied by Q is 72 Q minus 3 Q times Q is 3 Q squared because it's Q times Q is Q squared. But if we are not adding, but when you are adding, that's why you are adding here 3q plus 3, which is 2q. But we are multiplying. 3q times, um, q times q is 3q squared. So we have only q squared there. That is the TR. Now you know your TR, as is as a, that is your total revenue. Your total revenue is about 72 q minus 3q. You don't, know to, you don't need to do any more. That is your TR. Therefore, my TR is this. But now, how can I use my TR to scale a graph? After having our total revenue, which is our, this is our total revenue, our total revenue is this. First question says we find our total revenue is our TR. Our TR is equal to 72Q minus 3Q. We have that. Now, the second one says we plot a graph by using what? By using the formula equation. By plotting a graph, we say we plot a graph by using this. 
we force out doing these numbers, and then we say we have a Q, and then we have the equation, the P equation. P equals what? 72 minus 3Q. 3Q. Now, the numbers that we will be using is 0, 10, 20 onwards. Those are the numbers we will be using. Whenever you put 0 in this equation, it will be, it will be what? This equation is known as 3Q. It's 72 minus 3Q. How will that be? You will have 72 bracket open minus 3, 0. Anywhere you see Q, you put that as 0. So 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 73, you have 72. You see that? You go to 10, whenever you put 10 here also, it will be 3 times 10, 30. 30 minus 72 is 42. You have 42. From there, you go to 20. If you put 20 here, 3 times 20 is 60. 72 minus 60 is 12. Now you have your equation. You have the equation of both the chip and the, and the price. The price which is known as the total revenue, uh, the, the, the revenue here, which is average revenue. You know, actually, earlier, the price is known as average revenue. So the price is known as average revenue. This is known as the average revenue. So here you can find your average revenue because it's known as the price. So by scaling that in a graph, what do you do? What do you do? You come to a graph like this. You draw a graph. You say here, this is your y. This is um, your Q, and then this is your, your Y, mean your X and your Q. This is your Q, and then this is your Q, the price. You have the price on the Y axis, and then the Q on the X axis. Now, what will you do? You estimate, you say 10, 20, 30 onwards. Here you say that you have uh, an estimation of the y you can say is 20, 20, 40, 60, and 80 onwards. Now, from the from the question, you are told that when q is zero, when q is zero at the original point, when q is zero at the original point, what is p? P is 72. So 72 will be around here. After 60, you are near 70, you are around here. When you are 70 on top, so you sketch something like that, like this, 72. When Q is 10, Y is 42. When Q, when Q is 10, Y is 42. 42 will be around here, down here. So where they meet is where you put this one. Where they meet, like this. That is out. And then when Q is 20, Y is 12. When Q is 20 here, Y is 20. 20 will be around here. When you are 10, you will be around here. 20. Now, you need to draw up the line, the line from the um, upper equation, which will be like this. You see this line? Now you know this line. This line is known as when P is equal to what? When P equals 72 minus 3Q. When P equals 72 minus 3Q. It's because of this one, you have this linear line. Now you, you see that you have already scaled your graph. This is the way of scaling your graph. Even if you have only given one. Even if you don't have one, you can actually sketch your graph as easy as that. Now you know your, um, your price, which is known as your average revenue. You know this is that sketch of the graph. And then you also, you, you are, um, actually also know your, your total revenue. This is your total revenue, and this is your graph. That's as, um, that is how easy um, total and average revenue is as far as uh, this uh, two products concerned. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.